brothers, man. I just want to do a very quick video, you know, a few precepts that basically uh, talks about the Gadites, man. Because uh, earlier at camp, you know, we met a few Gadites and, you know, he made a statement and he said, you know, I thought the scriptures, you know, the Bible was just about black and white and, you know, and that the so-called Native American Indians are not in there, man. But that's what Esau pushed out there, man. You know, Esau, you know, pushed out the vibration that, uh, you know, um, that the scriptures is only for the so-called white people, man. You know, now if you have the masses, you know, everyone thinks that the scriptures is, is, uh, it's just, you know, is about the so-called white man. But the scriptures is, is, but, but the Bible is for the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and, and the Native American Indians, man. Now, you know, now, um, it tells you in the scriptures, you know, about Gad, man. You know, and Gad is this, is the so-called North American Indians that Esau slaughtered, man. You know, Esau slaughtered about 90% of the Native American Indians, you know, and, you know, and basically, like, you know, I'm a, you know, the so-called, I mean, like, you know, he took this land, man. So, of course, the scripture is going to talk about that, man. Now, I'm just going to, you know, I'm going to bring up a few precepts that basically, you know, I'm going to go in and, 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 you know, and he talks about the Gadites, man, you know, the Native American Indians. And this is Genesis 49 and 19. Gad, a troop shall overcome him, but he shall overcome at the last. Now, Gad, you know, Gad means troop, you know. And that troop that overcame Gad, you know, was was what? You know, I'm a Christopher Columbus, you know, and the so-called demons, man, you know. They all came along, you know, and they overcame Gad. But it said that Gad is going to overcome at the last. So, Yahab HaShem HaShah, you know, he's, he's going to put that spirit on Gad to overcome at the last, man. Now, you know, Israel, man, you know, Israel has had enough, man, with the so-called white men and these other nations, man. Now, the Lord, Yahab HaShem HaShah, you know, the Lord is going to, you know, I'm a, basically like, you know, the Lord is going to, the Lord is going to take the curses off of us and put them on these other nations, especially the so-called white man. Okay, but it said that God is going to overcome at the last. Now I have a, you know two more um, uh, scriptures. Um, <clears throat> this is First Chronicles. First Chronicles chapter twelve, verse eight, and the Gadites. Now that's the so-called Native American Indians. Okay. It says, and of the Gadites, they separated themselves unto David into the um, into the hold to the wilderness men of might. Now the Gadites are the men of might. Now it goes back to that word Gad, a troop. Okay. Now those are the warriors, man. It says men of might and men of war fit for the battle that could handle shield and buckler whose face were like the faces of lions and were... As swift as the rose upon the mountain. Now that's the Gadites, man. That's their characteristics, man. Okay. Now one more precept is uh First Chronicles chapter five, verse eighteen. And the sons of Reuben, now that's the Seminole Indians, okay? And the sons of, of Reuben and the Gadites and the half tribe of Manasseh of violent men, a men able to bear buckler and sword. And to shoot with bow, and skillful in war, were four and forty thousand seven hundred and three score that went out to the war. Now that's Gad, man. You know the Native American Indians, and they're in the scriptures, and they are a part of the children of Israel, man. You know they are one of the tribes of the children of Israel, and that's who Yahweh is coming back to redeem and to save, man. You know the hundred and forty-four thousand. You know, and you know. And with that, man, you know, I'm going to close and give, give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai. Double honor to the apostles and the of great men, and peace to your brothers, and then shalom.